Next to post control, you have the properties, very important tab. So if you select an object in your viewport you'll, or in your schematic view, uh, you'll see that object pop up. Um, make sure you have all type here. By default, it's often default type, but with default type, you see a lot less options than with all type. Uh, you have the transformation options. If a property is red, it means it's locked. So you can right click and unlock it. Um, usually when I personally uh, lock a property, it's because I don't want it to um, automatically bake. Uh, so when you bake here, uh, all the properties, uh, you have this option plot locked properties and it's unchecked by default. And I think that's a good thing because certain properties you, you may not want to uh, key all the time when you plot. Uh, maybe when you plot your entire character, you just want to plot like translation and rotation but not certain uh, custom properties. You have transformation options, so that's if you want to change the quaternion rotation, uh, some advanced uh, options like this. You have transformation pivots and, and especially geometry offset. So if you want to uh, edit an object uh, or a marker, so marker is actually uh, all the, the objects that are used for the human IK rig, you can Example, if you want to make it stick out of the geo, you could uh, scale here the geo and not the object itself. So here on Y, for example, I can make it stick out on X, on, on Z and X, and I can translate it down. And you see that the pivot hasn't moved, it's just the geo that was offset. You have the degrees of freedom. Uh, the degrees of freedom are also contain the pre-rotation, so if you select a bone, uh, you'll see it's a pre-rotation, meaning it's um, frozen values, uh, when the bone was, uh, the bone's rotation was frozen in Maya when uh, creating the rig. You also have the minimum and, and maximum, so if you want to create um, limits for your controllers and usually you have um, some options specific to the object that you selected here I selected bone so I have some skeleton node settings I can change the look of the bone um, I can change its size I can change its color so that's just some display options you want to customize the rig if I select a marker, you'll have similar options, marker settings, you can change the look, you can change the size, the color. You also have show parent link. <clears throat> show parent link is useful uh, if you have a floating bone and you don't want like its link to always be uh, displayed. So here, if I uncheck the parent leg of the calf, the left leg, I won't see the thigh uh, bone. I will just see the, the bone's origin, but not the connection. And very important, you have the viewer options. So if you want to make an object like non-visible, uh, you can do it with the, the visibility, but you can also do it with the show options. And when you uh, disable visibility, you'll also hide its children, unless the children has visibility inheritance disabled. But otherwise you can, yeah, play on the show option. Uh, so you have both, basically. So if, if an object is not visible, check those two options first, and maybe also check the marker, like the, the look, uh, because maybe the look is set to none for some reason. And you have enable transformation that you can turn off, for example, for meshes or uh, nulls that you don't want the, the animator to be able to, uh, to touch. Uh, you can also disable the selection. So usually I disable selection on meshes. The custom properties can be created here in the editor. 
Let's say I have some auxiliary effectors that are hidden by default and I want to make an option to toggle them on uh, on the root. So on the root, I can select it here in custom properties and select uh, boolean. I'm going to add it with this option here. So I have my new boolean. Um, I can call it uh, effectors display. It now appeared in my custom properties uh, list. And if I create a relation constraint, I can take the root, hold X and drag it here, set it as a, a sender. And for now, I don't see my effectors display because it's not animatable yet. So I need to click that A icon on the bottom right here. And now it appeared effector display. So animatable means I can use it in a constraint and it can also receive keys. I'm gonna go ahead and select my effectors, drag them here, and now they're gonna be a receiver. And I can just um, click and drag from effectors display to visibility. So now when I select my root and I click on effectors display, they appear. So they are basically receiving an order from that relation constraint, uh, all based on one boolean. What I can do is drag the root controller again, this time as a receiver. Actually right click on effectors display here and say set value. And I can just click here directly in my relation to toggle it on and on. And the cool thing is that this is active on all the takes at the same time. And, and it, I can remove the value here, right click remove value. Because here if I do it on the, uh, the key itself on the property itself I can disable it here on this take but on the next take it's still active so instead of going through all the takes and toggle it uh, on and off one by one I want to lock this and right click set value here on the relation constraint and if for some reason I want this value to be accessible from another object I can select the root control and maybe the hips effector and go to property references. I actually need to close that and reopen it up. Now I have both objects and I can select the effectors display here in the list of the root, select my hips effector and send it. Now you can see that I have the effectors display as a blue property. So if I select the hips effector, and I toggle it on or off, it still does the same thing. Um, so if I toggle it off, you'll see that here on the controller, it's also toggled off. And if I go back and toggle it on on the hips, it's back on, on the, the effector. So it's the exact same property that gets uh, edited. It's just that you can edit it from another object. So it makes uh, things a bit more accessible 